Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Lake Avenue right now as you can see some of this uh, snow has fallen some of this it's called the slums baby you know hey but let me tell you something just cuz you from the ghetto don't mean you have to act hood or is that vice versa just cuz you from the hood don't mean you have to act ghetto you know what I'm saying? We need to rise above that bullshit, man. People are a product of their motherfucking environment. Raise above that shit, man. Do better. Do got motherfucking to. better, man. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta fall into the motherfucking categories and be a statistic. None of that shit, man. Especially, I'm talking to the women on some real shit. And I see a lot of females out here. They don't know they self worth. They selling pussy for 30, 40, 50 dollars. But at the end of the day, talking about that ain't enough. These niggas on some real shit. These niggas just giving you enough to get through the day. Get your drink, get your smoke. Bitch, you'll be back. But you bitches so fucking stupid, you don't even see this shit. You know what I mean? I mean, be smarter than that, man. Be realer than that, yo. Be real with yourself. You know what I mean? Playing at the simple. end of the day, if you don't love, these, you love yourself, these niggas ain't gonna love you. Real talk, man. Niggas ain't gonna love you, man. That's These true. niggas see what you about, they gonna use you for what the fuck you work, and they gonna keep it moving. Just one thing about a nigga with money. If a nigga buying your pussy, best believe he buying somebody else's pussy too. So, you're not that special. You know nope. What I mean? You're, you're just fuck. a commodity. Just a commodity, man. You're there <laughs> for the time. Like, the nigga get another bitch to come through, the bitch coming through, especially if she better than you. What y'all don't understand is by the age of like 25, no, they got, they got, young. they still got a lot of life. You got to live. 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 year olds out here. Niggas want the younger, fresher pussy, man, because these bitches is washed the fuck up by the time they 25. You know what I mean? And that's just for the hoes. I'm not saying all females like that. Yeah, no, we know. have one percent. That's a of disclaimer good women right there. You know, that's a disclaimer. That's a disclaimer. <laughs> there's there's, there's you, you beautiful women out there. One percent of good <laughs> women out here, but it's hard to find. Either they not fucking with you because of your environment where you live at, or they 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 wiped up already. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's how that shit go, man. Need to get their shit together. Yeah, see, y'all got y'all got listen to leak dog, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get y'all shit together. Male and female. I ain't female. got shit. But at the end of the motherfucking day, I'm rich because it's in my mind. There y'all go. Being rich, being full of this, this, it's a state of mind, man. I mean, it motherfucking is. rich people you know, killing themselves, doing hard drugs. That's because they not happy. Money not going to make you happy. Nope. Like my man Fab said, money ain't the root of all evil no more. Attention is, you know what I mean? With social media, you got social media out here, fucking these chicks head up. You got niggas sitting behind motherfucking computers, hitting like all day. Now this bitch thinks she the shit. <laughs> this bitch come out in the real world, nigga ain't paying that bitch no motherfucking attention. Because of the way you carry yourself, you know what I mean? The way you carry yourself, the way you act, your appearance, what they say, perception is everything. It is. If it walk like a duck and quack like a duck, it's a motherfucking duck, nigga. Quack, quack. Real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, what I say is, we need to lift each other up. Parents, I got a daughter, eight years old. As a, as a father of an eight-year-old, I would not fail my daughter. I promise you that. You know what I'm saying? And we need other parents to take the same approach, which they don't. You got motherfuckers my age. I'm 39. You got females my age going out still clubbing. You know what I'm saying? You got 16-year-olds at home. What the hell you think they doing Yo, when I you said, go I out? I said 39. You, you got people that's 21 
That look like they 39. Right, man. That's because you live a hard life. <laughs> you know? Now nah, that's a um you know I've what been that man is. Boozo. Hoodwinked. It's all good, bro. I'd rather talk about this shit. I could talk about women all motherfucking day long, man, because that's what I know. You know what I'm saying? I've dealt with enough of them in my life to know how women operate. Plus, I got a mama and a couple sisters. So, what's that telling you, man? You know what I mean? Real shit. Man. Like, yo, we got to stand up, man. As people, man, we got to, we got to get our shit back together. I was watching this movie the other night where it's like, community took care of their own. You know what I'm saying? You did something wrong, the community gonna take care of you. They mm -hmm. gonna give you due justice. You know what I'm saying? We got the white man involved in all our shit, calling the police, this, that, and the third. They don't give a fuck about you or me at all. You know what I'm saying? Real we'll talk. Bro. It's true. We got to We got to fend for self. We gotta police ourselves, man. We got to police ourselves. Yo. It's true, because, you know, I was sitting there talking to some younger dudes, and I was like, you know, the city, the city is like the third rokest city in fifth, America. Fifth, to be exact. Fifth, third, shit. At this point, <laughs> all the same. it's all the same. We're at the bottom of the goddamn toe. But I was like, you know how good this this could be if, if it was safe and you took care, you know, of, of each other and it was safety? Do you know how many jobs? Do you know that the way that... That Rochester, the outlook of Rochester, and, and, and actually, it's a lot of stuff that can happen Ever here. Since Kodak left, shit been fucked up. Cause ain't no jobs. Kodak, Kosh and Law, all them big ass jobs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't like that no more. Some motherfuckers ain't got no money. I'm out here every day. I see people struggling, yo. This nigga watched my motherfucking hand as I was smoking a goddamn cigarette. This nigga follow me across the street. <laughs> you got another cigarette? Nah, I'm thinking the nigga going the same way I'm going. As soon as I said no, that nigga veered off and went behind me, crossed back the street. You know what I'm saying? Like, Waiting on. for the next man Shit to light up. Out here. It's hard out here for everybody. And everybody that's fronting, I don't believe you. Because I don't believe nothing out here and only half of what I goddamn see. It's real shit. Man. You got to stop this shit, man. Stop fronting for the people. Niggas need to stop. Trying to please these bitches, cause at the end of the day, I, I promise you, a female gonna do what she wanna do with her life. She gonna do what she wanna do with her life. If you with her or you not with her, she gonna go to school. She gonna hold down her job. She gonna take care of her house. She not gonna care about you. But when it come to you niggas, niggas luck. This how niggas introduce themselves. <laughs> go in their pocket, pulling out their motherfucking money. That's how niggas introduce themselves yeah. nowadays. I mean, they don't even know how to. They don't so, even know how to speak to a woman. Just, That's why you get the stuff right. that you get, cause you be like, yo, yo, what's up, yo. You get back what you put you know, in. If you approach a woman like she's a woman, you may receive a woman. Right. Cause most women ain't gonna res ain't gonna respect the yo, exactly. what's up, yo. And then when you when she don't res respond and shit, you be like, yo, well, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. Like a mad, <laughs> bitch this, bitch that. But I tell them, hey. Thank you anyway. Have a nice day. The way I look at it is your loss. If, if you know your self-worth as a man, as a woman, a lot of stuff wouldn't bother you. If you know what you're about, a lot of stuff would not bother you. As long as you know who you are, as long as you know who you are, shit ain't gonna bother you. You know what I mean? So I tell everybody, be yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it or love it, but don't hate it. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So be yourself. You're gonna get what you're gonna get. It may take some time. Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue, man. Unfortunately, I don't know if people know what a virtue is. I mean, it's... it's the school, Read a book. The school systems... Pick up a book. <laughs> Real talk, man. Pick up a book, man. Some shit, some shit you got to learn on your own. You know what I'm saying? People going to tell you shit all day long. But you have to filter what's good for you and what's not. You know what I mean? That's how that shit works. Don't be so close-minded to where you don't listen to nothing. You got two ears and one mouth. Listen more than you motherfucking talk. That's the truth. Listen more than you talk. Cause you can learn something, man. I'm 39, I try to learn something new every day. I try to, not saying I do, but I will definitely try. Yeah, you're open I, to I'm it. open-minded, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I can always learn something new, man. Real talk, man. That's just, I don't know. It's just me, Leak Dog. First time y'all heard that shit. Call me Leak Dog, baby, all day. Y'all know. <laughs>